Behind me is a typical urban scene in Katlahong Township and signs of growing affluence with the, the satellite dishes and the solar geysers. It's difficult to think that right there, 20 years ago, stood a notorious hostel, Mazibuko B. Mazibuko B has disappeared. Mazibuko A still stands. There it is behind me. And these were both IFP strongholds where 20 years ago, to this day, the most incredible violence was played out in this township. They were supposed to be a neutral body for stability. But today, the National Peacekeeping Force found itself under fire as the enemy. A battle between Zulus and so-called township self-defense units from the ANC caught them in a deadly crossfire. The political warfare cost many, many lives in this area. And it is difficult to think that right where I stand now, a journalist, Ken Oosterbrook, one of the top photographers of his time, was shot and killed by the very people who are trying to protect him. Among the 19 victims were the press. Ken Oosterbrook, award-winning photographer from South Africa's leading newspaper, was killed. Two other photographers, one from Newsweek and another from Reuters, were wounded. Colleagues had to evacuate them under sniper fire. And now it is the very model of quiet, peaceful, suburban upliftment. Katlahong Township is remarkably different today compared to 20 years ago. The streets are tarred, there are flourishing schools, there's peace in the neighborhood, houses are built, there are no longer no-go areas, there's no political tension, none of that strife and the bloodshed we saw of 20 years ago. I find it very difficult that I'm still standing right on the spot where Ken Oosterbrook was killed, where Greg Marinovich was so seriously injured. And yet around me, I hear a cock crowing. It's peaceful. It's a good place to be. Just days away from the elections and it's hard to think that 20 years ago, this place was in flames. People were dying, people were being necklaced. Katlahong has changed remarkably. But of what significance is that for the youngsters who were born after the elections? Service delivery remains a big problem in this area. There are protests, there is violence. It might be different to 1994, but with many problems still facing areas such as Katlahong, of what relevance were the events of 1994 for the generation of today?